Hello everybody, welcome to my round of 32 match, uh, second round of CCL playoffs number season number 45, up against uh, Alma Forever with his Dark Elf team, which is somewhat similar to Rick's, right, it's, it's not a very good team, but he's got some very good players, and he's got a wizard, he's got the edge 5 leap, move 8, so like, you know, everyone's edge 4, Lots of, he's got 6 blodgers, so he's actually got a lot of blodgers, uh, it's, it's, it is a very, very decent team, so he's definitely got chances without the wizard. And then he's got the wizard on top, so it's going to be tough. Um, my team has got a strength five catcher and four guard, which is obviously pretty decent. But the edge five doesn't have doesn't have block or wrestle, which is you know like ideally I'd have liked to get this guy up and I'd get him to legend and and get this guy up to seventy six or whatever. But you know I'd run out of time basically and uh, motivation. Uh, so there you go. Right in the booth is Fimir and Calcium because I'm going to try hard and uh, and get rid of my headset and just try and you know play, concentrate and play. As well as I can and ignore chat if I if I can remember to ignore chat. Uh, so yeah, find me and calcium can take over. Thank you very much, guys. Right, guys, here we are uh, for the game. Uh, only 180 inducements for uh, Alma Forever. That makes him uh, well. It's going to be a wizard, a wizard for sure, and maybe a babe. Yeah, or definitely maybe... a babe. I think I think Alma will scum. Um, for 20k here, so it'll definitely be a babe and a wizard. Maybe even more, maybe even more. I'll go, I'll think about going for the second babe. I mean, uh, 140. Yeah, I don't hate it. You know, let's be fair, both of these coaches are going to die the following round, so you just want to lump your money into this one, didn't you? <laughs> yes, yes. In the next round, is gonna be, there is the babe. And 120 in the bank, just in case, or you go, I'll go all in. Nope, so he's just oh. gone for the one, babe. So I, I don't hate keeping 120k in the bank in case he gets through. So I don't hate that at all. <clears throat> and uh, we have uh, Hellboy here in the chat. So in honor to him, he's specialized in giving stats about the, the games uh, he course, cast. Yeah, with, uh, yeah the um, underdog in it, you can only spend 40k. So yeah, Hellboy as usual, making sure that he's keeping the commentary exactly. team on the level um, because we don't know the fucking rules. 40k, eh? There you go. So well, no more to say. Following with Hellboy's style, you know, they are, they loves to give some uh, stats about the games being played when he cast the Andy Davos games. I have to say, this is the first time that uh, Jimmy and Alma Forever are playing each other in the CCL Cup of 45. I have no idea if they ever played before, ever in their lives, because the coach name of Alma Forever is very complicated to write, and I can look it up. <laughs> yeah, it used to actually just be Alma Forever on the PS4. So, um, But as I say, Alma Forever, when he was on the PS4, was an absolute shithead of a coach. Um, couldn't play the game to save his life since he's transported over to the PC. Um, he's improved a great deal. I do, however, think Jim is the better coach. Um, and that's just not my bias speaking. Um, I'm, you know, when I make comments like that, I, I try to make them from as an impartial position as possible. But, you know, yeah, Jim was right. He does, Alma does have a bunch of blodge. If his mighty blow tackle fires, connects with a strength five or a couple of catches, then it could be game on, couldn't it? Yes. Jim is Alma Plan B. Yeah. I mean, he has one mighty blow, one leaper, <laughs> and five, uh, and one guard, and the wizard. So he needs everything to go fine, very good. You know, have your good results there. Meanwhile, Jimmy have enough players to think about a possible plan B. Yeah. Which so says that at the high elves, if elves have seen that they excel at plan Bs. So the Alma Forever that I know would seriously consider a turn one lightning bolt on the strength five catcher. And I'll be gutted if he doesn't do it. I'll be really disappointed. Give me that uh, Alma won the toss. So if Alma won the toss, he's obviously chosen to, um, to kick, which is I quite like with a wizard in pocket. Uh, mass blodge against only two of Jimmy's tackles. I'm I, I quite like kicking the ball here. 
Yes, also gives him the chance to have the one turn when he still uh, he still is going to have more or less a full team. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I think uh, choosing to kick. It's a, for example, if you are a bash team versus elves, you want to kick, so the, you reduce the chance of the one turn to the turn 16. And at the end of the first half, you get to an LOS guaranteed, and then at the beginning of the second half, another one. Because yeah. more or less, you're expecting the, the elves to call. Yeah, if you're a bash team, obviously, um, you know, receiving the ball is a no-brainer. You, you want to win the toss. You want to get the hits in. Um, but neither of these teams... Their, their, their plan A isn't about attrition for neither of these teams. You know, they'll take any attrition that comes their way. But this is going to be about positioning. Um, Jim's obviously got to defend against the Wizard, which is never easy. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see how Alma uses the Wizard this game. Jimmy, a lot of wrestling that versus the movement five like man. <laughs> of uh, Alma are going to be very useful. Could well be, yeah. Again, certainly against Dark Elves with their lower MA. You know, um, one of the least mobile Elf teams. So, um, High Elves aren't significantly faster, are they? But... But we also need to talk about Jim's guard. Um, you know, four guard is disgusting, isn't it? Disgusting. It's disgusting here. Yeah. Of uh, wrestlers and a guard that is a uh, terrible. Yeah. I mean, it's a dream of any air coach, obviously, having that much guard. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> dropping the early BLGF. <laughs> Game on. True veterans, true veterans of the chat here. Yeah, Al Alma's a cool guy. Um, as I say, I've I used to play Alma a great deal on the PS4, and he's a really he's he's a good guy. He likes a bit of banter, so he, he's game for that as well. There goes the kick. <clears throat> I love kick. Jim's not, Jim's not such a fan, is he? But I love kick as a skill. I think it's great. <laughs> well, the strength five uh, needs guard, so he can three dice. Without much problems. It is Jimmy Curry in a good player. Vaya, he needs to carry on a blodger. Yeah, I, I, I get carrying on a blodger, but he's also carrying on a tackle player, which limits his tackle options to one. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, I, I think it's fine. Nothing in the lawyers. No. My understanding was Alma's team got beat to shit um, yes. prior to the chalice. <clears throat> this is even missing one of the wits. Yeah. Oh, that's it. No casualties from turn one. GG. <laughs> The good thing is the, the bodies on the floor make uh, are already protecting the players of uh, Jim. Yeah, this is this is fine, isn't it? So actually, Alma will be really, really happy with that. So he'll probably just poach one of the wrestlers yes. on the left or right-hand side, dodge out the other Dark Elves, limit Jim to one hit. You know, so this th that was actually a really nice start for Alma. He probably couldn't have wished for a better start there. 
And here you go. Oh! Can't re-roll that. Can't re-roll that. Well, no, Alma no. can re-roll that, you know. No, no, but that's... Oh, that's rough. It's still only one hit. Um, and Jim isn't going to foul. You know, he hasn't got... He hasn't built any high elf with Dirty Player. No, probably but that, right, probably right he can, so. He can tackle guard, guard lock the... Guard lock, yeah. Guard lock and then put the tackle piece there and... Uh, problems still at two plus you know to dodge away but yeah the, the problem with that is he has to he has to guard lock him he has to deny him the dodge sort of to the left back and, that, and that's going to be really difficult for jim to do without committing players so i don't think jim will do that i think the kick player is gonna get gonna get punched in. would you not have a pop at the sidestepper the blodge sidestepper with tackle Try to chip a key player. Too risky. Yeah. I mean, uh, Alma only has 11 players, so... <clears throat> any um, play why didn't Alma stand up any of his LOS and dodge him out? I think because being there on the floor is uh, do also do the same work. Oh. Grow a pair. <laughs> stand him up, dodge him out. Holy shit. I don't like him being on the floor. I mean, they're in good squares, you know. They are very annoying. Yeah, there, there is that. There is that, I guess. <clears throat> but hey, Famer, what do I know about elf play? <laughs> Holy shit. I guess he'd be going for the kick player, going for the easiest uh, chance of uh, getting cast there. Because with only Dark Elves, 11 Dark Elves, chipping out two or three makes things much, much easier. Absolutely, Johnny Five conscientiously objecting on the floor. Um, it, it's fine, isn't it? It's, it's standard stuff. Baiting the mighty blow tackle hit with another with a wrestle player, which is fine as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, he's he's gonna blitz or block every turn, so Jim's doing the right thing by putting a wrestle on him. Alma's of course gonna take it because frankly he hasn't got much else at the moment. <clears throat> another one oh, in nine. Another one in nine. <laughs> My god. My god. Wrestle paying a big dividend. Yeah. Anyone that laughed at Jim taking so much wrestle is not laughing now. <laughs> no, that's the that's the strategy that Andy Dabo used when he won a blitz speed with the high elves. Yeah, yeah. Loads of wrestle. And it worked really, really well. I don't hate this from Alma right now, getting Jim to commit to the left, um, you know, denying Jim, Jim, denying Jim the opportunity to stay centre pitch. I, I quite like this. <clears throat> Jim has to be careful that he doesn't overcommit down one side, you know, and then obviously a wizard does its thing. Because the lead player is always in range. Yeah. I think Jim will probably be pretty happy sat on the LOS here, won't he? Yeah, he still has time. It's turn three, so... Yeah, yeah. I think now now the blood side step uh, looks uh, juicier. Muppet Pac-Man, I'll just have you know that I'm all about the strat strategic blood bowl that this, you know, the elf ball presents. And that's the problem when you blitz the side step. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucky, now it's not a big deal, but there you go. Already tagging uh, someone there. Oh, that done not help. <laughs> oh my god.
So basically, Faymir, what we're saying is that you were right about not blitzing that blood stepper, and I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate, I hate uh, blood steppers because yeah, make things so confusing, and also dark elves tend to have so many of them. It's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. So Alma has a decision here. Um, he could potentially chip one of those guard players with the mighty blow. He would have to run the loner around to support the 2D for the blood stepper blitzer, which I don't hate doing. Um, you know, if if Alma could chip one of these guard players, that would be really good, wouldn't it? Yes, the lineman with uh, dodge. Yes, guard dodge the lineman, and that's that's exactly what's going to happen. What he's doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two dice follow. Two dice. Yeah, it's on. <clears throat> now Blitz, and you can reposition the Blitzer and protect him. Yeah, yeah. Finally gets a pow. Oh. Yeah, this is uh, a very nice turn from Alma. Hello, where's he going? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? That's not, that's not your half of the pitch. <laughs> go on, my son. Let's go fucking mental. <laughs> So Alma goes one player up and he starts giving it the Billy Big Bollocks, look. It starts to get all aggressive. Yes, yeah, Steve, I understand why he went for the Blodge Stepper as well. Um, you know, but as Faymir quite correctly pointed out, it, it can lead to some problems. Um, which, don't get me wrong, Jim's still in pretty good shape here. He's only one elf down here. You know, but that being said, Alma's in really good shape as well. Was good target, but I can say that they are uh, very dangerous pieces to try to hit. Mm. <clears throat> because the side step, you know, even if you get the power, if you don't break armor, it's always going to help them uh, position better. Yeah, uh, yeah. At least, at least they, they are not the uh, blood steppers with guard, which are the most uh, the piece that I hate the most in this game. Yeah. I think um, that's one of the things that Jim's really missing on this team, isn't it? It's Mighty Blow Tackle. If he had a Mighty Blow Tackler, then his team would just be... Don't get me wrong, it's still good, but it would just be amazing. I think Jim is doing the right thing here by getting a little bit aggressive, starting throwing his guard in. Nothing. Again, I think uh, chipping out the easy piece is the right thing. It's always, you know, the, the decision. You go for riskier uh, hits, but higher reward, or for easier uh, hits, low reward. Yeah. Do you get, Fame, do you get the feeling that Jim might be tilting slightly here a little bit? Nah. I, I think he's all right, isn't he? He's all right. He just... He's, 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 used, he, he's used to the doom and gloom of Blood Bowl, so yeah. yeah he, Jim loves a bit of adversity, doesn't he? He loves it. <laughs> also, it's been only a, a few hits with a uh, mighty blow, you know, like, you know, there are not that many blocks. There are not going to be many blocks on this game. Yeah. <clears throat> so now I'm wondering if Alma can actually manufacture a 2D on Jim's Strength 5 catcher. I think he can. They can to do the oh look look the, the, but there is the blood stepper guard so if you to do the, to do him with the block yeah, piece, it would, yeah. You it would involve more fouls. 
Yeah, it would inv it would have involved a lot of player commitment. So Alma's probably doing the right thing by just chipping away at the edges here. Mighty blow up a seven. Another armor break. Alma making good use of his uh, armor dice now that he's getting paused. <laughs> Alma's shown some really good patience here. So the Alma Forever that I know would have absolutely shit the bed by turn four. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed with his play up till now. He's certainly done nothing wrong, apart from rolling that one. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's brutal. Apo. Alma injuring his own players, doing the Lord's work. You can't Apo this one. Nah, he thought about no it, balls. but it's... Yeah, it's, I know, I know, but... It's a movement five block line, man. I can pretty much guarantee that um, Jim's appendage grew a couple of inches following that injury. So now Jim can actually um, centralize his, his team a little bit. Yes. Um, switch yes, sides a little has, bit. Yeah. He has lots of space. Yeah. He can run away from the mighty blow tackler. Yeah, that was pretty unlucky from Alma. You know, uh, a, a brutal end product of a failed dodge. Yes. But, Still Alma you know. is uh, keeping his big guns uh, more or less protected. The IG5 leap with extra movement and the diving tackle tackler. Yeah. Absolutely another nightmare of peace to have uh, versus yourself. You don't take him down, he's going to get worse. Every single block is going to get things that are going to get worse and worse. Jim maximizing the 3Ds with his strength five. Armor break. And again, there was a case, you know, to try to go for the which or the uh, IG5, but without tackle. So I hate where Alma's put his mighty blow tackler. Um, the reason Jim has shown the chin of the strength five is because Alma's mighty blow tackler is the wrong side of the pitch now. Otherwise, Jim would have never hung his strength five out to dry like he has. But, you know, right now, yeah, and again, he can get the two dice on the strength five, but it's a yeah, but yeah, big it's not mighty blow here. Yeah, yeah, it's a big mm -hmm. Oh, also, it's uh, not that easy because there is the guard covering the strength five. So no, no two dice. No, he can. He could. He could drop his guard in to where the two linos are. Oh yeah. Um, and then get a, get a 2D. But again, that's a lot of commitment. And as I say, the reason Jim has put his strength five out to dry there, but he hasn't put him out to dry, that was a tactical move. Jim knew that Alma's main hitter was out of, out of the picture, was forced to just pick off a normal elf. So yeah, good move from Jim there. And now the guard is in a very good square, so Alma has to move. Yeah. <laughs> the witch and the bleed. <laughs> One small positional error from Alma there. The fact that Alma committed um, the, the previous turn, you know, yes. he ran to the back of Jim to commit to a blitz was a mistake. He should have kept that mighty blow tackler ahead of Jim's team. At the very least. Then, uh, it did the other lineman with guard that is next to the two Dark Elves lineman now. Because yeah. if you push him or whatever, it's all right. You don't uh, get anything. Yeah. I mean, moving the witch and the other piece is just one square behind or something like that. And the Jimmy Stackler is uh, on the ground right now. Still, Jim showing why he's the 20th best blood bowler in Blitz Pit and probably at least in the top 500 in the world. 
Yes, but uh, being in the top 500, uh, anyone that uh, just buys the game enters top 500. <laughs> So this is, uh, Famia, this is always an interesting phase of the match, isn't it? Turn six, um, you know, the wizard is a very serious possibility here. So Jim will prob probably be looking to score, well, he, he would love to hold on till turn eight. But that's quite dangerous against the wizard and Agi 5, isn't it? If, uh, yes. Jim, <laughs> if there is no wizard... At the end of turn seven or the beginning of turn seven of the elf, the dark elves, Jimmy was going to be very, very happy to score turn eight. But I think yeah. turn seven is the wizard turn for the dark elves. But right now, even using the wizard is okay, you bolt the guy and then what? Do what every bastard elf coach does. Bolt the ball carrier, then rely on elf bullshit to carry the day. Honestly. Elf coaching is the easiest thing ever. Roll two plus, bolt win. Thank you very much. I'm an elf coach. Look at the size of my bollocks in my lycra. Honestly, I hate elf coaches. All right, all right, all right. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry, I went off. I went off a little bit there, didn't I? <laughs> I'm an elf coach. Look at me roll a two plus off a wizard. Yeah, fucking idiots. I want to find everyone who plays nice in real life and just This is Alma thinking about the wizard right now. Fucking life. As always, there is the oh, there's a good fireball there with players. You know, you can get the ball carrier, the strength the five, and a guard and uh, another catcher and a guard piece. But I think this game is a bold game. <laughs> Core Knight, Elf Coaches or Cyclists, they both wear Lycra and they're both massive sea nuts. So, you know, either or, mate, either or. <laughs> oh! Reroll. Why do you want to spend your reroll, Alma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, Into a bin <laughs> Alma's been pretty unlucky oh my God. with his block dice, to oh be my fair. God. He's going to dodge and die because he doesn't have a reroll now. Alma ah, must, no, be, no, no, no. must be giving up the giving up the drive here. He's giving up the drive, isn't he? No, He's not going to stop Jim. People in the middle, but yeah, seems that uh, still has time. Jimmy I don't like, I don't like this. Seven. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I think Alma could have thrown up some form of elf screen, given himself at least given himself the option to use the wizard next turn. You know. Um, I, I don't know if it would have been a good decision because Jim will defend against it, but he's not even giving himself an option here. He's basically just giving this drive to Jim right now. They might even load tackle that is going to get hit because Jimmy has enough guard to spare. Yeah, yeah. Or, or he needs to actually consider that he needs to score. I, I think Jim will push. I think Jim will push through here. I think the Bloch uh, guard piece is the target here. Oh, but it's so tasty that... Uh, you don't need to invest that many players to die the, the mighty blow. Oh, he's going for the witch hit. No, he isn't. There we go. Rerolls it. Oh. Gets the pow. Oh, fishing for powers with reroll. Armor break. Disgusting. Oh, Disgusting Typical. images. Yeah. Typical elf play. Oh, look. I'll do this. I'm against the blood. You roll a hard pow. Honestly, it makes me sick. I love Jim. Yeah, this is puke in your mouth, blood bowl, right now, ladies and gentlemen. Puke in your mouth, blood bowl. Jim still has to be mindful here of a wizard, so he's going to have to lock down that uh, blood step diving tackle, isn't he? Oh no, he's he's just going to cage here. 
Yeah, he's no, got, he's to, got to put a player on him. <clears throat> then fall for the mighty blow uh, bait. Just fair. He got to invest uh, a couple players to get two dice. And that will be, you know, a lot of uh, space for the Dark Elves to operate. Surely, Jim, yeah, Jim has to go either there or the next square right to that Agi catcher because what he can't allow Alma to do is get the blood step diving tackle on this elf right now. So there, or, or one square across right to deny these elves at the back for the assist. Yeah. But that, that's fine. That works. So I feel that Alma either fires the wizard now to try and stop this drive or just gives it up. Maybe he's thinking about the wizard for overtime. Yeah. I would be inclined to sit on the wizard right now. It's a great deterrent. I would be looking to maybe, you know, cause some attrition, do something in my own drive. So if uh, he used the wizard now, from now on, the ball carrier is going to be the strength five, and how the hell you take the ball from a strength yeah. five with his uh, dark elf team? Which is going to be caged with guard in, uh, uh, in two corners. So he's, he, he's, got, he's got a 1D on this catcher. If he gets a little bit lucky with the witch elf, he could set up a 2D on this catcher. Oh, that's yeah. Serious. Oh, he's going in that way. No, why? why? I, I would just block with the witch elf. It's a 1D, or... Yes, he can get 2D. Use the to set up into a 2, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. There you He's go, there you go. It's happening. He's manufactured this 2D quite nice here. I like this hit. Oh, oh that's brutal. Massive reward for a good yeah. play. Jim's Did ass he... will be twitching right now. <laughs> One man down again. Oh, that's, okay. that's the insta roll. All oh, day. Oh, mate. Mate. That was your chance. Why did he take the pushback? He hasn't... Oh, yeah. Oh, he has got... Oh, do you know what? I thought the catcher wasn't blodged then. He is blodged. Okay, fair enough. Jim breathes a sigh of relief. And uh, this is Alma telling Jim, score. Yeah, yeah. Score. I'm not going to even bother risking one of my pieces so you can blitz them or whatever. Just score. <laughs> now, Jimmy could think about getting, you know, a hit with a mighty blow on one of the pieces. But I think it uh, will require, require too much work. Yeah, I <clears throat> maybe maybe chip the kicker. Um, I I don't hate hitting the kicker, but other than that, you just take the score, don't you? In fact, hit the kicker with the blood step guard um, blitzer because then he's out of the way of the score. So I I don't hate that. Other than that, I I guess he could manufacture a two D hit with his strength five, but. He can hit the loner. He's going yeah. for the kicker. Yeah. It's a boring pause. <laughs> Three dice, minimizing a risk. Jesus Christ. Both, to be fair, both their dice have been pretty trash so far yes, this game. When it comes to block uh, dice, I mean, oh, he's trying, he's going to do the two dice. 
That's the magic of having a strength five, eh? Just drop it. He can't hit the witch elf. He has to hit the, yeah, he, because the witch elf has got sidestep. No, he's decided against it. I've... He can hit that one if it's a power. Uh, all right, block, there you go, no problem. And now it's even... Uh... Yeah. And Jimmy managed to score, but Alma still has the wizard, and now comes the chance for the one turn. Oh, the KO comes back, so Jimmy is back to 11 men. Pretty good drive, all in all, wasn't it? You know, yeah. Alma had a couple of opportunities. Um, I do think he slightly misplayed around turn five, turn six, <coughs> but nothing, <coughs> excuse me, nothing major, you know? He didn't make yeah. any major um, mistakes. Other than, yeah, and I, I didn't like the way he gave up the drive a little bit. I felt he gave it up a little bit too easily. In one side, Alma needs to high roll, but in the other one, he can risk uh, his top pieces because he only has a handful of them. So, yeah. Like, I want to, you know, take risks, but. You know, if uh, Jimmy loses, even if Jimmy, for example, loses the strength five, it's a massive hit to the team. But it's still a lot of guard, <laughs> blodgers, and all that. So, okay. But for example, if Alma loses the IG5 leap player movement uh, nine, that's oh yeah, movement yeah. eight. That's 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 the guy you want to do the stuff that makes you win the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Jim had lost his strength five, then that would tilt him off the planet. Um, I, I think it would be difficult for Jim to recover from that kind of attrition. But you know, as it was, hey, it's worked out fine. So Jim's full strength still. Alma's down to 11. Um, you know, he's ten. got it all to do. Alma is down to 10 because he cast his own player. Soft 10, yeah. Sorry, you're right. He could have made the one turn harder, putting the side steppers on the line, maybe, but no, there will be one without side stepping. The Alma Forever that I know couldn't do a one turner if his life depended on it. So now I'm not suggesting that he's the same caliber of coach that I knew back in my P or our PS4 days, but. I'll put a couple of quid that says now that Alma hasn't got a hope in hell of doing a one-turner. <laughs> I think we should have a bingo card for the number of times that Calcium uh, brings the memories of his PS4 uh, Pro days. Those were the days of Calcium before the incident. Yeah. <laughs> back, back in Alma's PS4 days, he put the shit in shithead. Seriously, he really did. And I loved playing him. We always had good banter. We always had a good bit of needle. But yeah, he was an absolute bash shithead. On balance, though, on balance, um, you know, the fact that he's made multiple pc chalices now uh making it with dark elves as well admittedly this is a beat up team you know i i don't think that alma is the same player that i used to play back in our ps4 days so you know um but i still don't think he's good enough to perform a one turn but let hey if he proves me wrong he will remind me of it forever see you will see he has enough players to try to do it Also, side stepper, AG5. Oh, God, I should have put the side steppers on the line. I, I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot. I, like, I didn't want to, but then I thought no, I probably should. I, say, I, I commented that. I said that, yeah. But yeah. Uh, still, you, you have a non side stepper on the line. So. To be fair, Famer did point that out because I know fuck all about one turns. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like sidestep on both of these and then, you know, then a guy in the middle, it would have made it a bit harder. But then this way, at least I've got the tackle here and 
and like you know got the side step there so he couldn't surf me because like he could have just gone for attrition I, I don't know it was like pretty tough it's not it's not bad odds is it because he's uh he's got edge fives <laughs> sidestep and everything Wait. oh there goes the reroll <clears throat> Okay. Oof, works again. I still think he spunked it. <laughs> no, no, he still has it. I can't, I can't believe I didn't. I just didn't put the side steps on the other ones. Deserved, deserved loss. <laughs> now I might be able to defend. To be fair, like I've still got more guard than him in the strength five. I might be able to defend it. And he might he's not gonna, double ones, yeah, you never know. Yeah, he's not going to get two pushes here. Um, so he's still going to have to double GFI it, isn't he? Yeah, and he's got some, like, he's got some dodges to make that he could double one. But yeah, it was it was too shit not to have sidestep with him. It was too high risk with, with move here and sidestep. And edge five, it was just too easy for him, isn't it? I should have actually done a deeper defence right because of uh, cause him having edge five, just making more twos. Yeah. Oh, he lip. he's got a leap anyway. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm pretty sure dodging was better than leaping, wasn't it? But never mind. I think uh, at least the first dodge, try the first wow. dodge. Yeah. <laughs> the first dodge is a one in nine to fail. And uh, if you don't uh, pop dodge, you still have the other one. Yeah, no, I should have I should have put size to on the on the It's alright, at least I can drop the GG. Oh there you go, there you go, turn nine GG. The worst thing about that is Alma's going to remind me that I just said that he couldn't one turn to save his life, and uh, that's going to really hurt forever. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He's going to buy a comeback to buy you in your ass. Yeah, that's going to hurt for the rest of time. Oh, Jim. <laughs> I'm hurting with you, my brother. I'm hurting with you. <clears throat> yeah, just Smith. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, if the chat can not remind me of that forever, that would be great. Just saying. But Jim, Jim, absolutely rip a dog. Jim with the tactical GG. Seems one of the you know, big uh, weapons left for uh, Jim because uh, Alma now with the wizard and in defensive drive, but the uh, Jim's team in, in defense is extremely powerful. All that guard uh, and all that. <laughs> oh my god, you deny this man his tea! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, absolutely brutal! Absolutely. Jimmy, toxic, fantastic. Hey, look, I'm on the ropes now after that one turn, aren't I? I I've got to do everything I can. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, fuck your tea. Fuck your one turn. <laughs> oh, I, I was so stupid not to put the size down. Was that? Uh, oh, I, yeah, it was just too likely, wasn't it? It was too likely I had to put the side steps on. I had to. I just had to. It was too likely. Yeah. Even though he fucked it up, he did it completely wrong by using the whole method, but... Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. No, I'll let him pause. You can pause. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go, go make your tea. It'll be all right. Go make your tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got to get my head together. Bloody, it's pretty rough, isn't it? I just didn't want him to just mighty blow bang my guys, but he could have banged them out anyway, and it was it, like he could blitz. Yes, the mighty blow is gonna hit every turn, and you can protect all your players because all your players have skills. So yeah. yeah. Come on, Jim. This ain't over yet. Get back on it. Get the yes, fuck out of yes, commentary it's for only a minute. One, one, for God's sake. Yeah, Five no, it's alright. He's on his pause. He's on his pause. But it's going to be. Right, fair enough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. Like, it's not lost, obviously. My team is still really good, right? With the strength five and the guards. 
Yes, um, and in, in defense, your team is much better than uh, uh, than his is in offense. I think. I mean, you have the guard, you have the side stepper, you have now you have all your tackles active and the strength five. That's a lot of pieces to have to worry about. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a chance to cause him some trouble, but obviously and, he's got edge four, which which saves him a lot. Yes, and he has only one tackle. Yes. Yep. He's, his tackler is better than both of mine, but he has only got one. He has only one. He has only one, and he needs to use him every single turn to try to do something that means exposing him. Yep. As I say, the Alma team, there's no plan B. You know, if he loses one of the two big pieces, it's just done. Yeah. I mean, not done, but... <sighs> I'm so sad. I thought I did really well, like, you know, making the attrition blitzers, not the positional blitzers that half, you know, like the, the, he did blitz, he did get the blitz my catcher, the tackle catcher twice, but both times it like fucked him positionally to like get the really good hit, do you know what I mean? Like that was the hit he wanted, obviously, but it was taking him away behind my line and just fucking himself to do it. So I was quite yeah, happy with yeah. that, but just yeah, that's not the, put that's side the steps on the line was yeah. just dumb. I should have put side steps on the line. It's move eight, add five, isn't it? And add f like you know, come on, move eight, add five, side step. I had to, I had to set up properly. Never mind. You can win this you if you just unpause the game now. <laughs> did you have a rationale as to why you didn't put the side steppers on the LOS? I just didn't want them to get banged out because I thought I'd win yeah. anyway. But you know, and like I might still win anyway. But it's it's got a lot harder, hasn't it? I thought, oh, yeah. I thought that because there was going to be one non side stepper on the line anyway, who will have the chance to just uh, hit that one. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's yeah. I mean that's the thing. Like it, but he probably it was it would have been quite tricky without movement nine. And I mean, I don't know how good Alma is, but like, if it was against KFOG, I would have put the side steps on the LOS because I would have known I had to. Um, he's, but against he's fucking, everyone else, you just don't know, do you? He's fucking better than he was. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. Another mention to the PS4 days. <laughs> it's all right, I'll get out of commentary. Come on, Jim. Nothing like a bit of self-inflicted adversity. Now I believe and everything is sorted. Okay, kid, just to make, you know, if there is over time, a fucking lottery. <laughs> Swearing heat is such a bad kickoff result in it it's so bad it's so game changing <clears throat> oh removal okay so the um the reverse removals that jim's not looking for right now <laughs> You're killing me, Adon. You're killing me. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> One KO. We can work with that. Yeah, this is pretty rough though, isn't it? Jim desperately needs his mighty blow to pop here. Needs to harness some sweet, sweet attrition. He's not going to use the mighty blow next time. He's going to use the tackler to hit the guard. That guard is yeah, exposed see, there. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'd be more inclined oh. to take out... Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? He has to uh, roll because if he yeah. goes to the crowd, it could be... Yeah, yeah, it could be curtains. I still one reroll spend. Rough days for uh, Alma. I I don't hate hitting a non blodge dark elf here with mighty blow, just just to get a removal. I mean, if he hits the loner right <clears throat> now, he opens. Oh. 
opens away the space so he can flood the back yeah. of the feet. Yeah, no, I don't I don't like hitting the loner. You you want the loner on the pitch. You want the loner to roll dice, you know, but Alma's a good enough player to not do anything with that loner. So But yeah, if he you, you know it opens a straight highway yeah. to the back of the pitch of the Dark Elves. Yeah. It's pretty rough, essentially being two players down this turn, obviously with the stun player as well. Ten versus nine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I don't know if Jim could have easily got a mighty blow hit off there. Lucky if he got the armor break, that would be fantastic. So I quite like this. Jim getting rowdy. Make Alma start to roll some dice. If Alma tries to hit the Blochester guard, it will be very good or really, really bad. I, I, I quite like going for the Blochester guard with the Mighty Blow Tackler. Um, but... You know, as as proved in the first half, it can go wrong, can't it? But Jim's not going. Jim's not going to win this by sitting back. He's men down against an elf team. You know, he, he's got to manufacture something here. So, yeah, it does feel a little bit herp derpy, Adon. But I, as I just said, I, I do think that Jim's got to manufacture something here. Just pulling for the trap. Going for the easy, and uh, yeah. there you go. Alma forced to obviously re roll the ball pickup, so he's down to two re rolls. Yeah, augmented bid. Yeah, Adon. Yeah, I, I, I think you're both right. I, I think the, um, the extra aggression that Jim's showing now is probably a good thing. <clears throat> are, uh, tagging down uh, two pieces, having easy hits, uh, hits the next turn. They must dodge, and if, if they fail the dodge, uh, Alma is not going to roll it. So I like it. This feels a bit daiquiri, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, the strength five is already there, you know, it's a moving eight, so. <laughs> And here comes the thing, three dodges, failing any of them is problematic, to say the least. The most powerful strategy in the whole of Blood Bowl, the DACA. This, this is, well, that is extremely powerful. That makes perfect sense when you're an IG team uh, with the soft uh, players. You can uh, feel the back of Alma clenching on every dodge. Oh, God, Dakarin sucks harder than a Dyson vacuum cleaner testing facility. Seriously, I fucking hate it. I hate how effective it is. And I hate how fucking beardy it is as well. Yes, but now he's giving a lot of the pitch to the High Elves. And it's a fast team. Yeah, I, Dakarin against Elves isn't so effective. The fact that Alma's deep in his own half um, will be is a good thing for Jim right now. So I'm, I, I can't say I'm a massive fan of it in this situation. You know, if you're playing a, a bash team, a low M MA bash team like Nurgle or Orcs or something, then yeah, Dakarin makes perfect sense, but... Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> there oh, we go. That lovely little removal there. Beautiful Blitz because it gave him extra hits just in case that didn't work. 
Straight in with the Apo. So now Jim needs to foul just to assert dominance. <laughs> Go on, Jim. So Jim just making sure there's no 2D option on his uh, super duper catcher. <clears throat> Keeping in the one of the tacklers uh, behind just in case. Yeah, yeah, sweeper at the back. So now Alma's got a bit of a problem, isn't he? He's yes. got a bit of a problem. Yes, because he needs to find a way to advance. He can do it from the... Choose one of the sides, but that's not going to help him much. Mm. The pow, but he still needs the armor break. Jim breathes a bit of a sigh of relief there. Uh, no, yet he, he's got 10, uh, but he's got one player back as a sweeper, so he's not on the screen. I think he's got two back, actually. Yeah, it's actually five. You can just see the edge of. <clears throat> in fact, you guys can't because I am right in the way. Um, but yeah, he does have 10 players. <laughs> Alma finally finds a one in nine that works for him. <clears throat> oh, the mighty blow tackler is going to be hit by the other tackler. Jim only needs to get up the guard piece, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's it's probably oh, too... Oh, wait a second. Alma needs to do something here, or there is going to be 2D on the ball. Yeah, yeah. Because the yeah, guard right. Lino... <clears throat> the guard Lino can hit two dice the oh, block is Lino. This is, he's relying on a loner dodge to shore his cage here that was horrible alma absolutely that horrible good. that wasn't good at all oh and those two well he needed to try to do something there but i'm not sure about that it's still not great it's still um a free plus into the cage isn't it still a potential hit yeah steve um yes Admittedly, it's it will be a non-tackle hit, um, so I don't know if Jim will go for it. Not yet. It's too early to do that kind yeah, of. Yeah, uh... yeah I, I think so too. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I think it might be slightly premature. And he has a lot of space and a lot of position there to take advantage. But the mere fact that Alma had to do a loner dodge to shore up that side of the cage is yep. it, its testament to Jim putting the right kind of pressure on right now. I don't think Alma is loving this. Jim is thinking which PC, the line without the skills or the mighty blow. I'll go with the mighty blow because even he has sidestep. In this case, the sidestep, he can sidestep in a good position uh, place. He needs to sidestep back. Yeah. Fucking hell, Steve. <laughs> Easy, man. <laughs> Holy God. Oh, brutal. Brutal. I mean, the only chance that Jimmy could think about uh, getting the two dice on the ball with the mighty blow is because if he fails, he, if he 
he would do it if he had the chance to flood the cage with the guard pieces and a strength five uh, next to the ball. Yeah. So that would be like no way to get the hits. But I don't think that's going to happen. He's uh, thinking which piece to hit and what to do. And now he's thinking about the failed state of the bleed. I quite like Jim just shutting down the uh, mighty blow tackler here, just guard locking him. So uh, Jim, at the end of the turn, will take the guard hit on the block. So there we are. So now this mighty blow tackler is relatively locked, isn't he? Yes. No match that the hit can do. And now was well, the question, what's going to do Jim with the strength five? Risk the hit the, on the ball? If he gets the power, it's not like, you know... Oh, it's a complicated recovery on the, pay, on the pieces. Yeah. On the stack. It'll be, it, it, it would have been really rowdy. I, I don't hate yet. Do you know what? I don't hate Jim doing that. Um, it's a nice little stun. It is a nice little stun. Now get in there. Make him dodge. Or leap. I get your Tim already, nice. boys. We may have a potato situation coming up. Yes, open the chips, guys. Potatoes <laughs> are coming for everybody. Potential potato. No, he can still... Uh... Oof. Yes, he can dodge with the tackler, hit the guard piece, spray, and then in reposition to the left. Yeah, Flicky, 3D on the tackle might, he might have been a thing. Um, the problem with that is you're pushing the tackle mighty out of a locked position. I really like where he is right now. He's he's pretty fucked where he is right now. So, um, yeah. Do you want... Sorry, um, Faymir, we're forgetting about the wizard right now. He does still have a wizard in play. Uh, wizard Tato, the tastiest of wizards, could be a thing. I mean, uh, still has the guard uh, piece. The dark elves, you know, so he can try to do something, but... Yeah. A large fud with the leap Tato. We all love to see it, wouldn't we? I don't think Karma is going to Tato at this uh, <laughs> still early. <clears throat> no, he's he's probably just going to retreat, isn't he? And he doesn't get the pow, and now the side stepper with the guard becomes the nightmare. Now that has given him a problem. In fact, he had discovered he needs to run away. Oh, oh. Love touch. <clears throat> so Jim's not the type of guy to wish bad dice on anyone, but you can you could have heard Jim right there saying roll a one. You PS4 twat. What are you talking about? Jimmy wishes a bad dice on everybody. <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare for the dark. They are doing too many rolls. At some point, at some point, one of them will uh, crack. Stop being shit. I love the fact that this tackle mighty blow is absolutely locked to shit right now. I love it. Um, the only thing that's missing on him is tackle. 50% dodge. Oh, risky boy. When in doubt, roll some fucking two pluses. God, I hate elves so three much. Plus. The first one was a three plus. <clears throat> Yeah, but, you know, I was sort of being generalizing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at this. Notch. Look at this. Disgusting images. Disgusting images. He's throwing uh, dice like they are nothing, huh? Finally. Elf bullshit of the highest order. God damn it. Every elf coach is a knobhead. Now Jim can apply 
even more pressure. This could end with a hard side step. Also facing the ball. I think I I, I don't know. I, I I would really love Jim to hit the um, the mighty blow tackler, but that means committing his only only tackler to do it. So I don't I don't know if I like that hit. Maybe just chipping the the um, the kicker. The kicker, the kicker opens you a lot of space. Yeah. To force the dark helps to move to the to keep moving left. Oh, Jim will be the first guy to call himself a knobhead. Hey, we're all knobheads, aren't we? Every last member of Team Fantastic. <laughs> it's a mandatory, it's a mandatory condition. It's like when he runs the the Battle Brothers with cultists. Everybody has brain damage. <laughs> oh. There you go. Let the step tackle on the ball. Ball based. GG. We are um, uh, Tom. We have a VIP Bellend in the chat. How you doing, Flicky? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. Uh, we are in the commentator team. You know we have the power now. This is a dictatorship. We are the dicks, and you are the taters. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a slip room. <clears throat> so that's going to make Jim feel a bit better. That's going to deny the right-hand side for Alma. Not that he was going to push on the right anyway. He was always going to go down the left here. Oh my God, how good is that um, video emote for Gdanik that Tom Schnizzles just put up? That is amazing. Amazing. That's oh, that is... Masterpiece. Give that man an Oscar. Oh my God, I haven't seen that before. That is the best. Oh, wow. That is just brilliant. Tell you what, that mighty blow tackler is really causing some shit, isn't he? <clears throat> it's all right. It's all right. Yes, they had the square there that should be covered at the gym. Ah, it's all right. That's the piece uh, you can afford to get hit. Oui, oui. Oh, no. Oh, that's a disaster for Alma. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Jim's just got moist. One turn away from glory. <laughs> Let's just try it. <laughs> <laughs> Jim dropping a BM bomb just before he breaks Alma's heart. Against the pow. Oh my god. This Big is pow. looking terrible. Big armor, oh wow. <laughs> oh look at that scab. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, right? That is on a that is on a DT blog stepper. So it's not horrible. But it will be horrible once that strength five picks it up. <laughs> it's just going to cover all the squares. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jim, with no nonsense, Just big out. Yeah. Never in doubt. So doesn't need to catch it here. Oh, 
Okay, James, think about that. The piece that goes the ball is going to get the ball. But I, I think it's, that's the only one that can uh, get the ball. Yeah, it's a big risk, isn't it? <clears throat> the fact that Jim has... Uh, he's got to pick up the ball, hasn't he? But the fact that Jim has stunned the agi movement up is is amazing, isn't it? Yes, because that makes uh, the Wizard next turn much less useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ball recovery is that much more difficult with that player being stunned. But Alma's, Alma's now in the situation he either bolts or loses. He's, he's got to bolt here. He can wait one turn. To... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, Jim, Jim, is, Jim will quite happily score next turn, I think, and then defend. If the dark helps uh, two turn? No, I don't think so. Yeah, now Jim's created a cage. Yeah, I I, I think Alma... Yes, he has to... I think he, wins, he loses. I think he's got to take fireball. a punt and bolt here. Maybe a fireball and pray. The classic. We'd love to see it, wouldn't we? May, may, may uh, let the Nuffle decide. <laughs> there you go. With getting... the big fireball. Wow. I'm getting good at this commentating thing. I call a few little actual good plays. I'm getting yeah, better at yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, so the fireball was entirely the wrong thing to do there, um, but it was fun. It's always nice to see a nuclear strike go wrong. I have to say, that fireball is too harsh on Alma. He has done a very good job all the game, most of the time. But yeah, Bolt, was, Hell, Hellboy's right. Bolt was the play. The fireball was the wrong play. Yes. I mean, the fireball, if the fireball are taking two of the four players... It will have created a space, a chance for the blitz. You know, the, there is the blitz, the mighty blow tackler there. There will be something, but only one is too harsh. Do you know what? I think I think Alma's played. He hasn't played a horrible half here. He's just made wrong decisions. I think the Dakar was a mistake. Um, I think he was too. He's been really passive this whole game, which is very unusual. Um, I, you know. Alma's anything but a passive player, but he has been really passive this whole game. What, what, what uh, choices do you have? The other team has guard all over the place. You know, if you try to go aggressive, you're going yeah, to get to Yeah, there well. is that. Yeah, there is that. I mean, you have Alma team versus Jim team. Your chance is the mighty blow tackler taking out a piece per turn. Yeah. You, you, there is an argument where to say that Alma was unlucky with the snake dodge. You know, because no. that, that, that was really unlucky, but... I disagree, because there have been so many rolls at that point, so it's all right. Oh, yeah, um, in terms of balance, I think, the, I think the dice, certainly from, you know, a dodging perspective, have been, you know, that snake's is probably quite balanced. And the fact that Alma didn't properly defend against oh, the, the, the consequences... Did. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, here comes the apple. Apple works, Ooh. Oof. <clears throat> so Jimmy's bum hole was tighter than a supermassive black hole gravitational pull right there. Apo did his job. I don't, don't lose your nerves now. Holy shit, man. Now that ball is covered. Yeah, but it's an but easy. Alma, Alma has done a mistake. Yeah, he's um, he sidestepped him. He's that that guy's just going to get sidestepped or off now. So he has the guard piece that can move one square to the yeah the right. To yeah, his, this is to this is with the wrestler uh, dodge to so, uh, move away the the diving tackle and then he can uh, blitz or hit the mighty blow uh, tackle yeah or just run away and score yeah easy clear for jim here um but as alma's quite rightly pointed out obviously if jim does prevail here then he's got a nice easy game it, honestly I, I i will try to be around for um the next game as well because i you know he's playing this guy um crucifer his name 
Never, never heard, never heard of her, to be honest. So, um, yeah, a new player, a new player, an Xbox yeah, yeah. player, probably. Yeah, yeah. No experience at all in challenge. Obviously, a new player to the CCL scene. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do with his shit chorf team. Wrestle is enough. Yeah. <clears throat> can Jim do enough to effectively? Well, he is strength five. Can Jim do enough to protect a strength five? <laughs> oh my God! Double pow! Jesus oh, Christ! That is, that's, that's that is disgusting. That's yeah, painful. that's dead player. That player is dead. No way to survive a double pow. <laughs> Holy shit, baby, you talk that in. <laughs> but now I'm thinking if you foul the. Uh... The diving tackle with the wrestler Lino. You Do you know what? If he, if he doesn't foul it, right, I'm unsubbing. There you go. There you go. I call it again. Boom. Nothing like asserting a bit of dominance. Oh. That's it. That's it. Using, using the bodies of the darkest players as the walls of the cage. Jimmy asserting maximum toxic dominance. Yeah. PTK will be proud. I did I did have the Jaws theme going off in my head there while he was doing that. And I got a semi on. I fucking love you, Jim. <laughs> now that I've done that, you know that. Because the part <laughs> was that too much info? <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping on the game. I'm focusing on the game. I, I leave the memories, to my, the, the memories to my therapist. I leave the memories to my therapist. Yeah. No, but... Uh, because they are armor break at the size, the chance he had, you know, even if that player was removed to just jump in with a leaper and pray for two red dice or whatever is gone. Yeah. He has a chain here with a... Which that... Oh, wow. <laughs> cheeky, double cheeky chain, single double chain. Nice play, <clears throat> nice play. <laughs> Can he actually manufacture uh, even a 1D here? Yes. This I is think insane. It can be done. I think it can be done. I think it is the last two times we have seen some absolutely beautiful blood ball. Wow, this is actually really nice, isn't it? Um, to be fair to Alma, I'm. This is. I, I didn't see this going down. So this is pretty impressive stuff. Oof. Oh. Your game's, you've got to re-roll it. Your game's on it. Yeah, you yes. had to re-roll. <laughs> oh, Flicky, that's brutal. <laughs> and can... Now, I have to say, Jimmy has a very complicated situation now to score, while he still has two turns. Yeah, yeah. I thought Alma was dead and buried there. To be fair, that was a really, really, really yeah, nice yeah, turn. Yeah, really, really well played there. Superb, yeah. Holy shit, follow a stay. Probably yes. follow to deny another uh, the square for the side step. Oh, you see, the, see the, the, the fucking the witch has side step. Too. Side step, yeah. If she didn't have side step, he could chain that catcher straight out, but with side step. The witch is uh, moving away.
<laughs> fucking Alma. <laughs> Alma, Alma, absolute master of the chat banter. Yeah. You can have, you can have a good bit of banter with Alma. He's he's a good guy. I I, I like Alma, and I I hate ninety five percent of all PS four coaches out there. So um, yeah, he's a good guy. You have a chain uh, there. There you go. Here comes the chain. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I just think, yeah, you push him Jesus across. Christ. For a second, I thought <coughs> he was going to push the side stepper. So, are we actually, are we going to see the legendary Jim Tato? <laughs> score now. Oh, wait, wait, how can he stay out of range of everybody? Yeah, I think he can. Yes, I think, I think he can, yeah. Jim's getting his toes out to count now. He'll be at a count to seven, no problem. Magic five doing the magic. Yeah. Gasting images here. Whoa, what a last few turns of the half. Quality blood ball here in the in the Jimmy Fantastic channel. Seriously good blood ball. Both of them just played two blinders of turns you know um i i, I yeah uh that that sort for me um that reprieves alma from you know uh, i don't think as i say i don't think alma's made big mistakes jim has played a really really good half of blood bowl here a really good half of blood bowl yes alma got the the snakes but doing that many rolls being an elf coach you know you're gonna have to roll a, a snakes at some point yeah it's going to catch up with you sooner or later, isn't it? So. That's it. Uh, <laughs> Bass teams <laughs> losing in double skulls. Uh, by uh, IG teams uh, losing snakes. How you are able, you know, to avoid the pale state is what matters. Alma looking for the big red D double pal. You know that you didn't need. <laughs> yeah, Flicky, I don't want to be too hard on Alma because I think he's played a really solid game of Blood Bowl. The one turn he manufactured was really nice. Um, maybe the whole method probably wasn't the optimal method there, but, um, you know, um, I, I deserve to become a meme for that because I said he couldn't do it in a million years and I was wrong. Um, I do think he played a little bit passively first half, but he obviously had a game plan in place, you know, get the one turn win it in the second half i think so i don't think he's done anything seriously wrong i think he's played a good game of blood bowl but jim's pressure and gameplay the second half especially being down men you know a man early was was amazing yeah and you know i i know it's unlike me to blow smoke up jim's ass um but yeah. <laughs> hey if jim plays like a plank i'm the first person to say so he's played a really solid game both of them have it's been a joy to watch You. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I guess this is over now, hopefully. I mean, he can, like, double pound me, can't he? But that's all he's got. I, I could have come on earlier, really. He doesn't have jump up, does he? It's just, uh, it's just, he's just got the uphill for pals, basically. Yeah. Double pal, yeah. 136, no reroll. Well, when he's got an assist, but that doesn't matter because it's still. <laughs> he's strength five. I know you. That's probably the biggest mistake that Alma's made this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hasn't done anything wrong, has he? I don't think. I don't think a, lot. A, a few decisions that, you know, we can be hypercritical about. But I think you've both played a really good game of Blood Bowl. But you're, you're, you're here back. Well, you're probably listening anyway, Jim. But the pressure in the second half that you applied was amazing. Thanks. Yep, yeah, they're really, really good. They were really good plays. But you do realise that 
um, zigzag touchdown doesn't count the fact that you had to count it I twice. I know, yeah, yeah. I noticed, I noticed when I played PTK, he took the extra time to, to, to you know, count in his head first. So, and and that was a, that was big mistake by me there, yeah, for sure. For sure, that was a big that was That was my big, well, it was my second biggest mistake. There was I should have put size that was on the LOS. And I mispositioned uh, the guarders so I could have protected the edge five on that turn. But then he double wand anyway, so it was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> we like my team is a lot better on defense. To be fair, like you know, on offense, yeah. he's still elves with a wizard, right? So like on defense, it, like like Rick found it as well. Like on and Rick seems worse than his, obviously. You know the strength too, but like on 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 offense, I'm just an elf team really, and like he's an elf team with a wizard. But on defense, yeah. I've got the strength five, and I've got some sidestep, and I've got loads of guard, and it, it gets really, really difficult for him, doesn't it? Store, you missed me cupping Jim's balls since 2007 as well to go along with the sucking off. Okay, <laughs> just second. <laughs> Very appreciated. Thank you, Casio. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say? Can I just say that I thought yeah. Alma played really well there. His one turn was great. Yeah. Um, being hypercritical, I, I, I would have, you know, this is just me, uh, my preferences. I, I would have liked him to be slightly less passive in the first half. I, I felt like he could have given you a little bit more problems, uh, a little bit more problem. Um, but yeah, the second half, that move he made, turn fourteen, stroke fifteen, with the chain pushing, was yeah. amazing. Yeah, it was really so good. Yeah. good. So good. Yeah, just so good. Yeah, yeah, that was that was super good. That that was super good. To be fair, it was very, very much squeak, squeaky bum time. And then the rest of the game, there was nothing that left out as a mistake. It's just he's got the limitation of his team, hasn't he? That's the, that was yes, the problem yes, for that, him. That, 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 yeah, the thing he couldn't uh, bring so many players or you know those things because the top players, you know, the diving tackle that was that was a very useful piece, but. He could get hit, you know, by tacklers or whatever. So he didn't have enough results. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I was able to, I was able to put the, like, you know, hold the sidelines with his side steppers uh, a lot. So that was nice. Like, you know, he's had the witch elf, didn't he? But uh, I was so like, you know, it's tough keeping back that tackler as a safety all half. Man, and being a, and losing a man early was brutal. But like, my team was just that much better, right? The strength five and the guards were able to. Were able to uh, get a decent amount of pressure. Yeah, the Bloche guard did the job of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, glorious. I didn't like the Dakar. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I, you know, it's it's always a good option to Dakar, but against your team um, that can recover positions so easily, guard lock and apply pressure. Um, I get why you did it, but you you countered it beautifully. You really did counter it well. Well, thank you. I mean, the thing was I had to as well, right? Didn't I? Because like it was the pressure was on being one one him with a wizard, and the ball in hand. Like it was brutal. Like maybe if I was one nil up, maybe I would have been more passive and like wouldn't have tried to go in so hard to like chase him around and that. But I had to, didn't I? So I, I just had to yeah. like basically be aggressive and play it how I did because the desperation. Like it was, it was pretty bleak. It was pretty bleak. You know, one one. He's got a wizard and the ball. Like okay, my team is better, but it's like. That was that was really really tough defense, and then obviously only because he got the double one is is if he hadn't rolled if he hadn't rolled any double ones he, he probably scores right like you know what I mean There's, or I could have tried four pluses in but I, I was thinking about a five plus in with a wrestle and a four plus in with a strength five like they're, they're options aren't they at various points but there was never anything easy and the pro the thing to say you know the Dakar like the problem is it's just hard to do a conventional offense against this team isn't it you know like that's the thing yeah <laughs> like with four guards and strength five and a couple of sidestep it's uh and lo all that wrestle as well like his, his mighty blow kept rolling double downs against the wrestlers didn't he when he when he was having to hit them he um, did roll a lot of one in nines um yeah. you know and I, so i i think both your block dice were sub Optimal, should we say? <laughs> yeah, probably. They were at best, you know. I think in the, in the last parts of the second half was a, a festival of uh, bows. Oh yeah, your dice, Jim. Especially your dice. You know, you exploited the snakes, um, the snake dodge, and your dice really worked from that point onwards. You know, so Alma was pretty screwed. But yeah. before that, I, they they were unspectacular. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um. I mean, just see, look how many dodges he had to make. 34 dodges. And uh, yeah. and I only had to make 18. So 
It was like my, my team was better, and I think he should have bolted with a fireball. I think he should have definitely just bolted the strength five because there's no fucking way he can get the ball off the strength five. <laughs> Basically, and like he got a one D on it. He, he did grit to do that chain up for the one D. But the problem yeah. is, the problem is, I, I guess that I guess you could say that was a mistake. Like I, maybe it's the only mistake in the entire game. I guess you could say for Alma was. Was like not it's one that you can't just how one yeah goes. but then it's not a it's mistake one... because you might think the bolt doesn't do enough so yeah just go for the glory fireball because if if you get really lucky like 50 50 it's it's as good as the bolt is 83 percent of the time anyways and it's so like it's it's a bit yeah. worse and then and then if you think that just bolting him isn't going to be enough then it is right to go for the fireball so yeah yeah it's, it's great when it works isn't it? it's great when it works it's high risk high reward yeah 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 that's fair that's fair Thanks very much, Flicky Flack, and uh, and yeah, yeah. I guess that that's a good point. Yeah, you didn't have the edge five, did you? Yeah. So yeah, that that is that is that is yeah. That's that's completely fair. You had to roll. You had some had to get some ridiculous. Yeah. Dice. No, yeah. That's that's exactly what I say. The because of the fireball. Yeah, I had a very uh, very nice set of uh, nice calls there. But yeah, if the the problem with the what was the who co who enters in that hell of a cage with the side steppers, guard and all that to yeah. pick up the ball. It might have to be the leaper with Hadji 5. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Moridam. Yeah, I thought Alma played great. I thought Rick played great in the first game. And yeah, now, yes, no, yes, doubt yeah, Chris, really well. no doubt Chris is going to play great in the third game. So, <laughs> and Elliot will play great in the fourth game if I give I beat Chris somehow. <laughs> so, oh, this is this is good. What a fantastic cup this is! <laughs> easiest, easiest cup of your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, thank you very much. Thank you very very much, Fimir and, and Calcium. Brilliant of you both. Thank you so much. You're it's welcome. always a pleasure. And yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. show Christopher's team. Okay, yeah, I'll show Chris Christopher's team for the uh for the for the YouTube people. Um I can't wait to commentate on this next game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's God, come this up with a gonna... <laughs> dead <laughs> yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be rotten i mean i'll get a wizard right i'll get a wizard probably like I, I can probably cut as well if i need to like he might cut to deny the wizard but i can cut back as well probably if i maybe i, I guess i could like sack like a roger or something and get a rookie because this is uh this is pretty horrific <laughs> two two claw pommers and they are claw pommers right because one of the one of the advantages high elves have is the armor rate so they're full claw pommers, uh, obviously with tackle as well. Three stand, well, four stand firm, so no one turn option. Um, I mean, at least my uh, my strength five is good, but uh, we will see a Dakar, I guess, in this game. Um, <laughs> could be worse. To be fair, it can't be much worse. No, this is definitely the best team in the cup versus my team. So, yes, yeah. I am on the team. Choice number five. <laughs> yeah. uh, this could be my yeah. second challenge win with uh, Crucifer. Yeah. So this is this is about as hard as it gets. So yeah, this is this is going to be a rough one. But um, <laughs> no, Cruz won't dagger. I will be able to, I mean, I couldn't dagger it against against Rick or Alma because of the wizards and the edge fives. But I can actually dagger this game. So I will dagger, minimize the attrition a bit. Hopefully, punch through with that with a strength five. And uh, and so you know, can, and then maybe you can get lucky with a wizard. You never know. So there'll be there'll be a chance. But. Um, it's going to be very, very rough, right? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.